on 5 News. We are looking back out at our first alert weather event for flash flooding tonight. Kayla Smith, you've got all the details on this and how folks can keep safe. So tell us more about it. Yes, so this is going to be definitely a higher risk for our lowland counties and especially for those who saw flooding on Monday. We're expecting some very heavy rain to come in overnight tonight and lasting through tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, the heaviest rain will start to subside. But in the meantime, we're going to see some very heavy rain getting dropped over a short period of time. So we could definitely see some flooding concerns, especially around creeks and low lying areas, poor drainage areas. And again, that ground is already so saturated from the heavy rain that we saw on Monday. So that flood watch by the National Weather Service is in effect from 4 a.m. tonight through 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Well, I guess 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. I consider it nighttime because I get done work at midnight. But anyway, that is in effect for pretty much our entire area, except for some of our higher elevation counties such as Tucker, Randolph and Webster. Not to say those areas aren't going to see heavy precipitation. They're just not under that flood watch. So looking at the satellite and radar right now, we are seeing some isolated showers ahead of this system and as well as an increase in cloud cover all coming in from the west, pushing off of this system that has picked up a lot of moisture from where it was yesterday. It didn't really look like much, but the further it moves towards the east, it's pulling up a lot of that moisture and humidity from the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to feel that moisture in the uh, atmosphere as well. It's going to be feeling quite humid tomorrow, despite our temperatures being quite affected by these rain showers that are going to persist throughout the day tomorrow. So looking at all of this on the future cast tonight, we continue to see those clouds moving in. That flood watch goes into effect at 4 a.m. That's when we start to see some of those heavier uh, showers coming in. It's going to start off a bit scattered, but it will become a lot more widespread by the time we get to about six, seven o'clock in the morning lasting through a lot of the morning hours where people are expected to be on the roads during that time. This is a big time of the day for people to be uh, commuting places. If you do end up approaching a flooded area, a flooded road, do not try to drive through it. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Turn around, find an alternate route, give yourself some extra time tomorrow morning to account for the potential of some of those roads being flooded, especially if they are in poor drainage areas and especially if they are at a very low elevation where we could see that rain kind of funneling down into those roads. So again, be sure to find alternate routes. Do not try to drive through flood waters. It does not take a lot of flood water to sweep you off your feet, to stall your car, to even sweep your car right off the road. So we're going to continue to see that rain moving towards the east through noon. And by the time we get to two o'clock, that's when that flood watch is going to expire. Those showers will become a lot more isolated. We'll still see some of those showers through the rest of the afternoon and the early evening, and they still could be heavy at times, but it's not going to be that consistent rain falling during the entire afternoon. It does start to slow up a bit by the end of the night. We're going to be cleared out of that precipitation. Precipitation. Now, if we do see some cloud cover lingering, it could uh, hinder any fog development. But if those skies stay clear, we are likely to see some fog Friday morning. Looking ahead towards the weekend, we are expecting another storm system. We it's likely to come Saturday night and into Sunday morning, so it might not affect your uh, daily weekend plans in the uh, daytime hours. But we are expecting another storm system on Monday. Some of those storms have the potential to be severe, so we are going to keep an eye on that and watch how that develops.